Hello, this is Minnie checking in and today I'm going to show you how to contour your nose and highlight your face. Many of you have been asking me how I um, contour and highlight and today I'm going to show you step by step on how to do this. So for me, contouring is to bring focal to my face, um, which is the nose. Right now you can see my nose is a blob, so I'm going to try to make it look thinner and create an illusion that it's much higher than it actually is and pointier too. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm using the Bobbi Brown stick foundation and uh, I'm gonna use my hands because it blends better and for me it just works sometimes people like to use their brushes but I like to use my hands and blend it better I'm gonna take this stick foundation and then get a little bit on my ring finger because it's my softest and I'm gonna draw two parallel lines down my the bridge of my nose you're gonna want to make it much closer to each other because the closer you make it the more thin it'll look so here we go let's try to draw two lines there's one right there. Don't freak out if you mess up because we're going to blend it in later. And then the other one is going to be right here. I'm going to try to make it even closer to each other. Then when you get down to the tip of your nose, try to connect it so it looks like an arrow. So you connect it and do that. Right now it's kind of like, ah, but it's okay. You can just blend it in and then it'll all come into place. I like to use my hands because uh, it's just more easier, much more easier for me and I get a better blend that way. Okay, I'm going to do that until I'm happy with the blend. Make sure that it doesn't look too obvious that my nose is... there's two lines on my nose. So I'm gonna keep going until I'm happy with the blend. If you use too much, you can always come back and clean up with your foundation brush. So I can do that. And keep going and keep going, keep going until I'm happy with the blend. I'm gonna take this brush and then just a little dab on the tip and then kind of brush off the excess. You don't want to just go straight at it to your nose. It's going to look very harsh. Just a little bit and then I'm going to draw a line across the tip of my nose. A little bit above the tip. So right here. As you can see. There you have it. So it kind of looks like you have a line on the tip of your nose but when you blend this all together, you're going to see that your nose is going to look like there's a lift. So this is the point of your nose. It's going to look like Pinocchio. <laughs> so once you do that, you're going to want to blend this in. Blend this baby in. You can use your hands, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm going to keep, keep going at it until the blend is very, very subtle, looks natural. And equally. All right, so keep blending, 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 blending. And right now I'm going to clean it up a little bit more with the Makeup Forever contouring kit. This has a uh, the highlighter side and the contouring sculpting brown color. So I'm going to grab this and then put it at the tip of my nose. There you can see that. It'll just bring out the point and then I'm gonna draw it right down the middle of my bridge. All the way down. And then try to blend it out with the whole thing. Okay, all right, with the same sculpting kit, I'm going to grab the brown color and then contour my massive jawline which I absolutely always want to hide because it's just so monstrous so I'm gonna keep going at it until I'm happy with the contouring this is gonna make my jaw a little bit smaller some people wanna with no jawline you wanna go underneath the jawline to make it look like it's much more but I'm gonna go a little bit above it to make it look like there's a shadow casting 
on my jaw so that it looks much smaller. Go in a, in a diagonal motion. And then same thing on the other side. I'm gonna do it on top because I tend to not want this jawline noticed or emphasized. Okay, then I'm gonna go on my cheekbones. So I'm gonna pinch this a little bit, get a little bit of that brown, brush it off a little bit, and then make it look like I got a, a cheekbone. And you blend, 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 blend. Same thing over here. Keep doing it, blend, blend, blend. Don't worry to mess up. That's all makeup. It's gonna help you get better and better every single time. So if you mess up, just calm down and then go back and clean it up. You can also do this. It'll help you get your cheekbone in place. Then I'm gonna blend a little bit or I'm gonna put a little bit more on my forehead. This will close everything up make it look more focused to the middle point area. Forehead, my temple. So basically, it's kind of like drawing an upside down heart. It's like, oot, and then oot. Creating the focal. Once you have that, I'm going to grab my Becca highlighter. It's a shimmering, shimmering perfecter. And I'm going to Get a little bit on this brush right here. It's thin, my highlighter brush. And then I'm gonna put it on the, my cheekbones on the higher end of it. You can see that. It's gonna make you look like you have the J-Lo glow. Okay, so there you have it. My contoured nose, contoured face, everything looks all brought together, cleaned up. Um, I hope this video was very useful and if you guys have any questions, please make sure to inbox me down here and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.